What's up, guys? It's me, Ant Games, and welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 video. Yes, this time it is not the Xenoverse, which is like my main series I'm playing on Xenoverse. Today, we're doing something a little different that I have not done in a very long time. But now, today, finally, is the day that we're doing this. So, um, what we're doing today here is a series that I like to call Prep for DLC Pack. You know, whatever DLC Pack. This one's 10. And basically, to if you've never seen my other videos on it, because, I mean, I haven't done many. Cause, I mean, it's been a long time. I think the last one I did was, like, for Ultra Instinct or something. Or maybe, like, I don't know. It's been a while, though. I haven't done it for the last few DLC packs, because, I don't know. I just, I just didn't. But now, it's finally back, which, I mean, it, this might be the last time this gets uploaded until Xenoverse 3, because this could potentially be the last DLC pack for Xenoverse 2. So, if so, then we'll see you in Xenoverse 3. But, anyways, what this is, is basically... Uh, so I take the new characters that are coming out, which, you know, it got revealed already, and they're actually coming out in two days, so, you know, perfect time for me to do this, because it's two episodes, so, you know, perfect time to upload these. Uh, basically, what we're getting next, the next two characters we're getting are Android 21, non-Majin, and we're also getting Majub, like, you know, you know, like, oob, your boy oob. So we're getting those two characters. And the way this series works is, so knowing the two characters that are coming out, I play as other characters in this game that relate to those characters or as close as I can get to those characters. So today, we're starting off with Android 21, which, you know, since she's not her non-Majin form, you'll see what we do. And we do this in offline battles, obviously, because, you know, I mean, I feel like it's just better to do it in offline battles. Plus, you know, if I did it online, that would kind of, like, interfere with my Xenoverse series, you know? Especially since I haven't played as the characters I'm going to play in this video yet. So, yeah, it's just better to do offline battles. But, um, yeah, so t we're just going to hop straight in. Today we're starting with Android 21, since she was the first character that got revealed. Which, honestly, I'm more hyped for Oob, though. Like, I'm definitely going to be playing Oob. And so what I usually do, too, for DLC is... Uh, well, actually, I'll talk about it once I'm in, so let's go. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, what I usually do for DLC as well is once it comes out, I do like a full review about it. Like I do, well, I do a review on the characters mainly, but I think this time I'm going to throw in some new stuff into it. You know, depends on what comes out. I'm going to throw extra stuff into it just besides reviewing the characters now that I have like, an, like you know, because before I could only record, I'm going to be honest, I recorded on Xbox Game DVR, ghettoest way to record a video, but I did it and then I do post comment or I'd put my commentary like, I'd I, would, I would record my voice while I'm playing, but then I'd throw in the commentary. Like, I'd edit it in later. It was such a hassle. But with this, I have my Elgato. And the reason I didn't uh, do, like, um like I didn't do, like, reveals on, like, the story mode and stuff like that that would come out for DLC. Because on Game DVR, you can't record cutscenes. So it was weird. But now I have Elgato. I can do whatever. So next time, depending on what comes out, we're going to do something different. But, I mean, we're going to do something different either way. But anyways... Yeah, so today we're playing as Android 21, and now usually, since, you know, Android 21 does have a Majin form, I would typically play as, you know, normally I would play as Boo, but since there is no Majin form, I'm going to be playing as Android 18 today. We're just gonna do a random one, so, yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, so we're playing as Android 18 today, seeing as she's the only other female Android in, well, I think in Dragon Ball that we know of, and in this game, so, yeah, and, um, so I decided I'm also gonna fight against characters who are actually in fighters so like face goku for example here he's in fighters and obviously i can't pick super saiyan goku so we're just gonna pick any like just any character who's in fighters we're gonna fight against them so yeah we plan so yeah so that, that's how this works i haven't done this in a very long time i haven't done a prep for dlc pack in a while so you know i haven't even fought off offline battles in a long time if i'm being honest but yeah it's just i felt like it was better to do it this way because it kind of is separate you know, doing an offline battle kind of separates it more from my Xenoverse series. Because I, I, I hate you know this move. But yeah, so it kind of separates it more from my main Xenoverse series since, you know, that's online. And so it, it doesn't, like, make it weird. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like this is better. But yeah, so plan is 18 just because she's the only female android. I almost said female Majin. She's not the only female Majin. She's the only female android. Besides 21, and since it's not, if it was Majin 21, I would have played as like Fat Boo maybe. But since it's not, we were playing as, um, just 18 to me normally. Maybe. But, yeah, like I said, it's been a while. I forgot Deadly Dance was available now. But yeah, so we're just going to do like a couple fights. Uh, nothing too crazy, just, I mean, I don't know. We're, I mean, I'm not going to sit here fighting the whole roster from fighters, obviously. But we're going to do a few. Oh, I didn't mean to rematch him. Well, you know, we'll just fight Goku again. It's fine. But. 
Yeah, so by any character I pick in this, it's going to be a character that's actually in Baidu, so... Yeah, but, like I said, I've said it like a bunch of times already now, but yeah, I have not done one of these in a very long time. But I mean, it's kind of nice to come back, do some offline battles as these characters, but yeah, so... Um, so yeah, no, 21, or 18 is the closest I could get to 21 in this game. Now, once the DLC actually comes out, which should be the day after the next video is uploaded, which... No, which will be Oob because he's the next character that got revealed. Which I'll, honestly, I'm hyped for Oob. I'm probably gonna do a good amount of videos. Well, not a good amount, but I'll probably like have a lot more fun with Oob. I just feel like Oob's gonna be more fun because like, plus I've been I've been one of the people who's been wanting Oob in this game, and I, I've mentioned this in a few other videos before though. But I'm kind of happy he's DLC. I know a lot of people wanted other people, but one thing I am happy about with them releasing all this DLC is the fact that that means our base roster for Xenoverse 3, because I'm a big believer that's coming out, because, like, it just makes sense for it to go, oh, I actually hit that new one. But I'm a big believer that Xenoverse 3 is happening. A lot of people say it's not, but I really don't believe that. I mean, th just look at how much money Xenoverse has given them. Like, the Xenoverse series has given them, like, what, $5 billion? Something? Or maybe not billion, but a lot of money. I think both games did $5 million each is what it was. So they got, like, $10 million just from Xenoverse alone, which it's the highest selling Dragon Ball game, I think, ever. It might just be the yeah, I think ever. So it, it even sold better than Fighters. So like, I think I mean initially it sold better than Fighters. Plus, all the DLC they've released, they gotta make a Xenoverse three man. Like that's all I'm saying. With all the stuff, you know, just think about how much more money they brought in from DLC alone in this game. Just I I don't know the stats or anything, but yeah, it's just there's no way Xenoverse three isn't happening. So yeah, just I, I really feel like it's gonna happen. But yeah, um, well. I forgot what I was saying before, but we're gonna since there's four presets eight we'll just play as a different one each time. So yeah, we'll we'll just use this one. But Ooh, actually hold up, now that I think about it, I'm gonna use sixteen too, because he was um pretty closely related to twenty one in the well, in fighters, he's like allied with twenty one. So it makes sense to also use sixteen. So you know, let's do that. Look plus they both have red hair. So it makes sense. And we'll fight we'll fight blue Goku because he's in that game. He's in um fighters but yeah i didn't even think about that but yeah we're gonna also use 16 so yeah see this is how it works i pick sometimes i pick multiple characters that are closely related to the one character that is coming out so it just depends like a 16 like i just thought about it right now he makes so much sense to pick so we're gonna play as 18 and 16 because most thing you can get to 21 in this game until she comes out but yeah but what i was saying about the university back to get back on my train of thought well, to, to you know get to my point because i went off on a tangent but Basically what I'm saying is I'm happy that they're making all this DLC. It just means that once Xenoverse 3 comes out, our base roster is going to be like you know a lot bigger. Because even from Xenoverse 2 to 1, or from 1 to 2, my bad. From Xenoverse 1 to 2, they added in, they kept the whole base, like all the DLC roster of Xenoverse 1. So you know, all the DLC characters that had come out stayed in this game as base. Plus they added more. So thinking about Xenoverse 3... They're probably going to do the same thing again, which means we'll have a huge base. We'll have all the characters in this game, including the ones that were DLC, as base in Xenoverse 3, plus a couple more, and then more DLC on top of that. Like, Xenoverse 3 is going to have a huge roster. Now, like, now will it be Budokai Tenkaichi 3 large? I really hope so, and I hope that they fix... I hope that they don't try to mask, because, like, honestly, if you really look at it, like, the roster in this game is way bigger than Xenoverse one but i mean it's not as big as you think just because like a lot of the character slots like take blue goku for example it's still goku just in a different form but they count it as a different character slot which makes it look like there's a lot more characters than there really is so i hope that they kind of fix that up and just like give us actually a lot of characters like a lot of different characters and keep all the characters that have the same form so like keep G blue goku god goku all of them i've said this in a video before i'm sure but all of them in uh you know its own character slot instead of making multiple and then just actually give us a huge roster i would love that but you know that's just wishful thinking i'll have to see what happens and i miss let's just do it anyway never mind that was a bad idea oh and i actually have limit burst you know i have not used limit burst in a video in a very long time because you know online with limitations you can't use limit burst so yeah just oh here we go okay okay i'm about to get out Ouch. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Ow. But, yeah. Definitely things in Restraint happening. But let's talk about the DLC again. So, yeah, they revealed that Oob and 21's coming out. Honestly, didn't really want 21. 
Oob, I'm good with it. Like, ooh, yes, I'll take Oob. I kind of want a God Destruction Topo, if I'm being honest, but... I have no other option. This level of power was created to destroy Goku. Android 16! Win! But... Yeah, so we're just going to alternate between... Actually, you know, since I did two with 18, we'll do another one with 16 right now. But, yeah, uh, definitely, I didn't really want 21 that bad. Honestly, when I got a destruction topo more, but it's fine. Uh, I know there's a lot of speculation going around still of if this will be the last DLC pack. I'm not really sure if it's going to be. I mean, people say no, it's not going to be. Some people say yes. Don't really know, but I mean, I guess we'll have to see. But, yeah, whenever the new DLC does drop... Uh, which will be in two days. Uh, there might be some other videos on it already, actually, because some people get it early. But for me, it'll be in two days, or whenever it drops, which, yeah, it'll be two days. Uh, I'm going to do, like, a whole video about everything that's coming. Because I know there's, like, a new cutscene coming out, which I assume that... I mean, it might mean a new uh, story DLC. I really hope it's new story DLC missions, because I'm definitely going to play through that. And because I, I don't think I've ever done Xenoverse story mode on the channel ever like once none of the DLC ones none of them So, you know, I'll definitely do that. Oh, and one thing Speaking of like DLC. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. But speaking of story modes uh, You know, I haven't ever done the Xenoverse 2 or 1 story mode or on this channel ever obviously So, you know, I've already planned this out for myself But whenever Xenoverse 3 gets announced I'm going to go back through Xenoverse 1 and 2 and play the story modes of both games all the way through like once it's announced not when it's coming out. No, once it's announced, it's gonna. I'm gonna make a whole series about it. You, you'll see. But, um, yeah, just. Uh, what? Well, what was I saying? I don't know. Just hype for the DLC. Just yeah. Oh no no. I was saying whenever with all the stuff coming out. So apparently, I know we're getting new parallel quests. I'm gonna play through those. I'm I'm gonna do everything that this DLC has to offer. Probably gonna mostly play as Oob. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do obviously two separate videos going through you know you know what actually no i already know how i'm gonna organize it so i'm gonna do a video like with all the stuff about 21 like i'll do her video first since she was the first character revealed but yeah i'm gonna do everything that has to do with 21 in a video and then everything that has to do with ooh and then you know expert missions and stuff like that uh we'll see if i make those separate videos or not you know it just kind of depends but uh yeah we'll, we'll see but i'm definitely gonna play through the parallel quests and all that kind of stuff ow you punched me in the face Oh, Goku, I can do that, too, from a distance. Never mind. I'm off this bat. Ow. Goku, if you don't, if you don't get back to you. There we go. Now it's time. I can finally do it. I've been wanting to do this move the whole time. Because they buffed in. It's so good. Yeah! Ah! That's what I thought. Yeah, go. Who can you fly it off the back? But no, because they buffed that move, so now... the uh, it like there, There's like a stream of... Oh, I didn't mean to rematch again, but... All right, so now we're playing as 18 here, which is my Dragon Ball Super custom mentor preset. Yeah, that's what I based the colors off of, Dragon Ball Super 18. It's an outfit she wore in there, not Tournament Power 18, but just normal Dragon Ball Super 18. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, just to finish up what I was saying about Hell Flash, is that it creates a pillar where your opponent is, so it's a lot better now. But yeah, so really hyped for this DLC. I know I've been talking a lot about the DLC, but I mean, it's kind of the topic, so you know. Oh dang, did AT just slap, <laughs> just slap Frieza? Hold up, just, hold on. Let me try that again, hold up. Wait, how did I, hold on, I want to do that again. The slap combo, that was hilarious, I want to do it. I don't know how I did it. Is it boom, 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 hold on, is it my X, Y, X, Y combo? I want to do it again so bad, like, I, I don't know how I did it. A anyways, though, whatever, we'll leave it. But super destructive this, come here, Frieza, yay! Oh my god, that damage. Endless shoot, ye 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 Oh, he, he blocked it. Can't block that. Oh my god, wow, we clapped as this 18. Um since I accidentally did that extra round with 16. Well yeah, well you know, we'll just do it like this since I've already gone this far. We'll just do two with each character. But yeah, I'm really hyped for this DLC to come out, man. Like uh I'm definitely going to like I just really want to know what it's uh, what's got going. And yeah, honestly, I've just been really hyped about a lot of things recently. If I'm let me just let me let me talk to you. So I've recently finished watching Demon Slayer, which I, I think I mentioned that in the stream the other day but yeah i recently finished demon slayer and it was so good bro i'm ready for the movie to come out uh, oh there we go oh, i did fuck. it i did the slaps again i can't again. believe you've done this i did it is it just x then i don't know how i did it is it just x 
No, I threw in some Ys too. I don't remember. I, I keep doing it on accident and then I can't do it again. Come on, man. But, yeah, so I, back to what I was saying. I finished Demon Slayer. It was really good. And then there's been so much information coming out. Like, uh, they revealed that for Jump Festa, there's going to be a bunch of stuff about Dragon Ball Super. Uh, potentially the anime or the second movie, but, you know, obviously not confirmed 100%. But it's potential. And it could be those. I'm ex like, uh, I really want it to be those, and I'm really hoping that's what it is. I know one of the things is that they're going for the mon like they're one thing that they said is that Masako Nozawa and another voice actor they're gonna be reading off. Oh wow, that killed him. Okay, eighteen. I don't know how that killed him, but it did. But they're gonna be reading like they're gonna take the manga and kind of improv the scenes. Like they're gonna read off the lines and like the words in the manga as the characters. It's like Masako Nozawa is gonna take it, like take the manga, read off some of Goku's lines and stuff. And you know another voice actor gonna do that, but that's for one of the sections for Dragon Ball Super because there's two different sections and also this is my Android 8 Android 16 by the way but yeah there's two sections and that's one of them just yeah which I mean it sounds kind of kind of dope just it, it sounds pretty cool just it sounds like a lot of fun they're gonna have and I really want to see it and then there's gonna be a second I don't know if that's gonna be the first or second panel though because there's two different Dragon Ball Super like panel time slots on two different days which is the 21st and 22nd there's like two different panels, so I don't know which one it's gonna be, but but yeah, it's still it's gonna be one of them. Tell you that much, but uh yeah, so I'm really hyped for that. Sounds dope, and I really hope Super's Return gets announced because I would be hype and like I'd probably do like episode reviews and everything. I don't know, I might honestly might do that. It depends. Well, we'll have to see how things go in next year. So I mean, if it even comes back next year, that is. But yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. And yeah, just, I don't know, it sounds like it'll be a lot of fun though. And yeah, this is my custom 16, which is honestly pretty much the same as normal 16, except he has, he doesn't have the eye beam. <laughs> That's the only difference, pretty much. Tackle him, there we go. Do that football tackle. But yeah, I'm just so excited for a lot of things. And then um, fighters, a lot of, uh, they reveal, it was, um this was kind of like a little while ago, but they revealed that. Oh, there's an L. I almost said LR because I'm so used to calling it that because I have the card. But there's a Goku and Frieza versus Jiren dramatic finish, uh, like in the files for the game. So people are thinking that it's gonna be we're gonna get season three for Fighters, and it's gonna be maybe Ultra Instinct Goku or something. I don't know. People are also thinking maybe you need Goku and Frieza on your team to do the dramatic finish, which would be kind of cool. I could, I mean, possibly. But I mean, the only thing I don't like about dramatic finishes is that people can skip them because like. Yeah, I've seen like a lot of videos and stuff where people just, you know, skip the dramatic finish. And like, like I saw a video on it the other day. I was like, why, why is that possible? Like, you shouldn't be allowed to skip dramatic. Oh, my phone going off. Hold up. My phone. Okay, I'm going to do this and then turn off my phone. But yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to do. Ooh, there we go. But yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to skip dramatic finishes. because It's really just not, not fair. It's kind of dumb. But uh, so we're going to do one more with 16 and we'll do two more with 18 and finish off the video like that. But. Yeah, just I, 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 like, dramatic finishes get skipped so often, and I'm just like, come on, man, like, why is that allowed? But, yeah, there's just so much stuff I'm really excited about, man. And, you know, I'm trying to just grow my channel here, honestly. Uploading more. I mean, I haven't uploaded in a little bit, but I've been doing streams still, so I've at least got something going, you know? That, that's, I, honestly, I think the streams are my most consistent thing on the channel. Because, I mean, it's just a lot easier to stream than it is to upload videos. Plus, because you know, and streaming's a lot of fun. So that that's one thing I've been doing. And the streams haven't been doing bad. They've been getting a good amount of views, and you know, pe a, a few people have been coming out. You know, a few people have been coming out to watch, and you know, you just have fun. So definitely trying. Ooh, that tackle was dang. That combo did a lot of damage. Dang. Ooh, my stomach, bro. But yeah, just whenever 21 comes up, though, definitely gonna be playing as them. I mean, if you haven't seen my past videos where I've done this, then yeah, I always play as the character when they come out, too, as well as doing the prep. Is that, I mean, it's just because, you know, ooh, dang, okay, 16, just punched Vegeta in the face. Dang, he literally knocked Vegeta out. God, he decked him like that, bro. That was, that was crazy, but yeah, just let's move on we're gonna do another one with 18 and yeah but there's been so much stuff coming out like um i know kyle kim blue just came out on dokkan didn't pull him and i know matt's gonna yell, my friend matt's gonna yell at me in the comments let me do a 
do a Dokkan Summon video, which I'll probably get to that at some point, honestly. I really should do a Dokkan video. I mean, yeah, he, he doesn't say specifically Summon, he just says do a Dokkan video. Um, which, you know, I probably will. I just need to get around to doing it at some point. So yeah, now we're just going to fight off Nappa. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do Nappa. We're going to do someone a bit stronger. And yeah, this is the only 18 I haven't played as yet, so we're going with that. Um... Let's see, you know what, let's do Ultimate Gohan, because Gohan's actually amazing in this game, and he's pretty good in fighters. Friend Diego loves using Gohan in fighters, just, it's like one of his favorite characters to play as, and yeah, I mean, he's really good, so. I mean, I don't play Gohan that often in fighters, really, but, play him a lot in Xenoverse, he's really good. But, speaking of stuff, though, um, like, Gohan and all that, but I'm just, I'm also really excited for Kakarot, man, like, oh my god, y'all definitely seeing this on the channel, that's all I'm saying, because I'm just... I'm so ready for it because fighters are fi fighters. Kakarot looks really fun, and I'm super ready for it. Just yeah, I I'm definitely playing down the channel. I already pre-ordered the game, so y'all can expect to see content on it. Is it just oh my god, man. It looks like so much fun. I just want a demo or something. Oh, I did the slaps again. There we go. I've done that like at least once every time I played as a like at least when I realized I first did it, but I don't know the combo for it. I just did it on accident. Like I don't I know I throw in Y somewhere. Just don't know where. It's like X it's like X's and then Y's. I mean I don't know. But ooh, there we go. Broke his stamina. Then we're gonna hit him up with this. With that double pizza. Why did 18 look like she was about to drop an album when she was charging them destructive this? Like come on, you cannot tell me that did not <laughs> Like she literally looked like she's about to drop an album or something. Like a diss track on someone. Ooh, alright 18. Getting them clapped, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna do one more. Then went off the video. But yeah, this is how prep for DLC pack usually works. I just play as some characters that relate to the main character. So yeah, and like usually, I mean, before when I did these, my videos were way shorter, like 10 minutes at most. That's because of how Xbox Game DVR is. Uh, yeah, they, it was just like only a few minutes. Now I can do longer videos, so I will do longer videos. I realize our 18's eyes like pink. In this what, am I stupid or... Hold on, were her eyes pink just now, or am I just dumb? Or have they like always been pink, and I'm actually just stupid? Because I swear, I just noticed her eyes were pink, and have her eyes always been pink? I don't think so. I'm about to look this up, and if, if they have been, I, I'm actually stupid, and I'm going to be shook. Yeah, I'm going to look this up <laughs> in a little bit, but... Yeah, I didn't think her... Oh, I did the slaps again. And I was walking on the ground. That's some ultimate disrespect right there. Like, I literally walked on the ground doing it. That's the perfect way to do them slaps, honestly. But, um, what just happened there? Uh, Gohan, you good? But, yeah, just, man, I'm so ready for this DLC, bro. Like, I'm actually excited. <laughs> just, yeah, and, you know, I'm actually, I'm happy to be doing the preps again. But, I mean, again, this might not, this might be the last prep until Universe 3 because, like, yeah, I don't, there might not be any more DLC after this one. So, so, yeah. But, you know, I still have my Xenoverse series, so we're, and, oh, dang. We're definitely going to end up playing as all the characters eventually. Like, all the characters, like, Xenoverse 2. Yeah, look, her eyes are pink, huh? Is it the stage, maybe? I don't know, but we're going to head back to Canton City and do the outro, so hold on. But anyways, guys, that was it for the first prep for DLC Pack 10. That, you know, first prep for DLC Pack in a while, honestly, but this one's specifically for DLC Pack 10, which was Android 21. Very excited for her to come out, honestly. Her and Oob, mostly Oob, but... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing reviews on this character, so expect to see 21's video... The day she comes out, I'm going to probably... I mean, unless something comes up. But right now, the plan is to make a video on 21 when she drops. Like, that same day. So, expect to see that. Going to be reviewing her, playing as her, doing everything. So, yeah. But that's it for this video, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if y'all like these preps for DLC packs. I mean, they did pretty good before. So, I mean, I know. I uh, hope they did do it. Uh, hope y'all like them. I mean, it seems like it. You know, they did pretty well before. But we'll see how this goes. But... Anyways, yeah, expect to see uh, Oob video and also videos about the actual characters when they come out and everything in the DLC. Dang, I said that really fast. Jeez, I need to slow down. But, yeah, expect to see everything in the DLC and the characters when they come out. And, yeah, that's it for this video. So, until next time, I'll see you all later. And, peace! Have a good day, y'all.